So that's done. Now it's all that's left is the chair. And the chair is a little bit more of a pain in the butt. Here's the messed up UVs right there for the chair. Let's get them out of the way. And uh, let's start with the bottom, I guess. So we'll grab this element here. And actually, I can probably grab all of it. And we'll do a UV cylindrical apply. Let's uh, close off the cylinder right there. And uh, it's a little gnarly, <laughs> just a, a little bit. But uh, what I can do is grab the faces of this top region, uh, go to create shell, separate them, bring that one out. And uh, there's no reason for it to be as wide as it is or as tall as it is really. So we're gonna just kind of do that. We've got this part up here. And of course that top of this object is all kinds of screwed up. Frame up please, there we go. And what I can do though is let's go to face mode really quick. Whoops. Oh, it won't let it. It won't do that for me, will it? All right, that's fine. I'll deal. Let's go with, actually, let's do face mode going this way. Let's do a grow selection, and then let's do a shrink selection. And let's do another shrink selection. Eh, no, no. I want to keep these ones together. So let's do a create UV shell. Pull that out of the top. And now let's do a shrink and a shrink. And now I just have the top bit, which has no UV space whatsoever. Right? Hold on a second. I want the, ah, oh, I want that. I want this, which is <laughs> that singular point right there because they all come to a single point. Ouch. All right, let's just do it this way then. We are going to, uh, let's go back in time slightly, grab our selection. Let's do a UV and we'll do a planar. We'll use best plane coming from the top down to the bottom. That just, you know, pushes it all out like that. Scale this on down, move it off to the side. And, uh... This is the side element, right? Yeah. So actually, let's hold down DV, move that there, V, and move this one right back there so that they're together again. And we'll grab this guy now. And since they're all kind of sharing the same reflective material, we're going to make sure they're all in the same space. This guy should have some more, some more pixels, though, dedicated to him. He's a, it's a big piece. Okay. This whole thing, though, is probably going to need to be scaled down just a bit. Let's go up to the chair now. Let's get this star out of the way. So let's right click, face, and grab something and just grow, grow, grow. Actually, the back side of the star can be deleted. There's no reason to have those extra polys in there. So let's, let's actually deal with that really quick. So let's go to shading x-ray. And I'm gonna zoom in and can I just kind of be inside of this. And let's do face and grab these back faces really quick. You, 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 and you, you, right? Delete those, F8, save it again. Okay, perfect. Now we can get out of X-ray mode. Right click face mode, and let's grow, grow, grow. We're gonna come straight at this one using a planar map again. Uh, we can use, mm, is it X or is it Y? Ooh, it kind of rotated the darn thing, didn't it? Um, can we just do, bah, yeah, bounding, that's what I wanted to do. Close this. Scale that on down. That's a pretty much just a solid texture, so it's not like it's going to require a whole lot of space. Save. Now we can do the rest of the chair. It's all this similar texture. Um, I know how I do this in a different application. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it here. So let's just grow this thing. Can I? Can I? Let's just give it some UVs. Let's do a planar selection coming from the x-axis. Yeah, like that. Okay, now let's cut this thing up a bit. So obviously, um, what I would like to do actually is slice it up right along here. So if we went to edge mode and I was to cut it along this edge and lay it out flat, that's exactly what I wanna do. Uh, let's actually just grab the whole darn thing and unselect this and select this. And the idea is that this is gonna flatten outwards and it'll cut across this seam all the way to that top. Now to do this, I'm probably gonna need more cuts though. Um, Cause I need a cut going into this region so it can flail kind of like, whoops. So it can kind of fan outward. So if we do a right click, can I do a cut UVs right there? And then if I were to grab this thing right now, and then we did a select, what do we want? Uh, tool, 
smooth. If we smooth this, you can see how it's unfolding, but I'm getting a lot of bunching up in these corners, um, right up here, here, as well as in these areas over there. So I need, I need more cuts in the geometry to make this work properly. Um, let's go to edge mode. And so it's that seam comes up and over. I could, do I want to slice this way across it? into it in here? Or do I want to slice from down here and up? Like right along here and let it kind of unfold itself there. Let, let's do that and see what we end up with. So let's do right click, let's do cut, grab the UVs again and see if this fixed it. View, tool, unfold, oops, tool, smooth. And if we unfold this now, yeah, so a little interesting. Kind of go back and forth with relaxing and smoothing a little bit here. So you can see down here, as we begin to unfold it, those regions were able to, to kind of pull themselves out from one another by having that little cut. So I might add that same cut right up here as well. Now this is kind of, this is kind of, beating a horse to death on this one. These aren't terribly important components. Um, I really don't have to, so let's see. If I cut into here, that these pieces will fold outwards, but I still have a lot of stress in here, so I should probably give it a couple cuts right there. And I can jump up and into here on this top segment. Is that better? Let's see here. Let's do that. Let's uh, cut that and let's go ahead and smooth this. So let's do an unfold again. So they're kind of on top of each other right now, unfortunately. That's kind of messing things up. I need these sections to be pulled apart from one another. Yeah. So this stuff is kind of fallen into itself. So I'm trying to treat this as one giant piece of fabric and the reality is I probably just want to slice this the thing up into two separate pieces rather than trying to keep it all as one giant thing. Uh, I could labor over this for a while trying to do that. I could bring it into different programs if I wanted to, ones I'm far more uh, happy with in terms of UV mapping. Let's just do a cut right there. Uh, go to shell mode, grab the lower half, pull it out of the way and that's the bottom seat. And this is the top seat now. So I just need to figure out why this is folding in on itself instead. So if we go to vertex mode and I just grab some of these things and I say like this, what is this? It's, um, looks like it's that seam right there along the top, which is giving me some problems here. So what are these seams up here? That's that stuff. So it's coming out and folding itself. So you know what, let's just, let's start over. I don't like how this is. Let's go to UVs, let's go to planar again. Coming at it from that direction. I am still gonna slice this thing, but I'm thinking I'm gonna slice it down this way instead and let it kinda fold out as two pieces, two panels that get pulled over the side of this. I'm gonna remove these elements. I'm gonna right click and cut those UVs. Go to UV mode and tool smooth and unfold this I love that it looks so awesome and actually I'm gonna try to figure out something is bunching up what is bunching up this is causing me problems where is this what is this oh geez I missed a part all right that needs to get cut up uh, let's go to right click and cut and let's go to UVs now, and let's do our tool, smooth, unfold please. Let's relax it first, and then now unfold it. Relax, unfold. So we still got this mess of crap going on in the center, center area, and it's not, it's not pulling itself apart properly is my problem right now. So hold on, so that's the entire outer area.
Okay, so it's taken some effort by going back in here, back and forth, back and forth, and kind of changing the space that I'm manipulating the UVs in, but I was able to unwrap it into one giant shot. In retrospect, there's really no reason to have done this or to have wasted so much time trying to flatten this thing out like this. It's a, pretty much a flat cushion, but to me, it was a personal challenge. As I mentioned before, uh, Maya is not my preferred program for doing this in. Um, I typically have always used UV layout um, and a few other ones. I, I've typically used other, other programs in the past that I find better at this, although Maya is getting better, and I probably need to spend you know a good weekend going through all of its tools and you just reacquainting myself with them. But hey, you know what? It's laid out. We're okay here. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? What are you trying to do? Oh, do I have some sort of, yeah, I have soft select on? There we go. So anyway, uh, the UVs are coming together right now. It's not really a big problem. I'm just trying to figure out the optimal way I want this. Now I can probably this time use that tool polygon. Let's use layout. Let's hit apply and just see what it does. Ugh, I don't like that. No, we're not going to do that. I want to keep certain things together. I'm going to keep these pieces together. Yeah, we, I, want, I want them in the same area. Yeah, that's okay. And these ones, though, are causing me some problems. So what if I take the star, bring it down here, kind of shove it in that corner. We grab this thing and put it over there. Circle. And I, I guess I could just rotate this 90 degrees and kind of shove it to the side, grab this now, shell mode, grab this, maybe put that up there instead, grab this, stick that over there and grab the star and kind of give him his own little healthy spot. And move this away just so the mitmap colors don't blur as much. And I'm gonna move this just slightly more in. All right, we're gonna go with it. Polygons, UV snapshot, F8 to make sure I'm in object mode. This isn't the best one, but, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. 2048, 2048. PNG and browse up up UVW maps and I want this to I don't where's the other UVW map oh boy I'll have to check that one out let's call this party uh, chair underscore UVW save save and for some reason the curtain didn't show up so I'm gonna grab the curtain and do the same thing again UV snapshot browse up up UV maps, yeah, why is it not there? I don't know. Uh, party, table, uh, cl cloth, party table, cloth, underscore UVW. Save that, hit OK, and there we are. All right, so we've got our UVs all done. Not exactly the cleanest in some cases, but hey, it worked out OK. Now we're going to jump into Photoshop in the next video and texture this thing up. Thanks again. Bye.